Lincoln's grave. Didn't Willie die when Abe Lincoln was president? I think so, and he was only 12 years old when he did. That's horrible. And didn't Lincoln also have another son who died? Yes, his name was Eddie, and he died at a very young age, too. Four, I think. Eddie and Willie's death was very hard on their father. Yes, our deaths were very tough on our mother and father. Who? Who are you? Well, I'm William Lincoln, and this is my grave you've been standing by. No, wait, wait, wait! I wanted to tell you about my father. What else do you want to know? Um, how did, how did your dad deal with your death while also dealing with the Civil War? Here, I'll tell you about everything that happened to my dad during the year 1862. I remember when I was sick, and one night my parents hosted a grand reception. Some people were very upset at them for throwing a ball while the war was still happening. Dear, please excuse me. I'm going to check on Willie and Tad. I am so concerned of their high fevers. Tell me how they are doing. feeling? I feel very hot and achy. At the time, the doctor said I would get better, but he was very wrong. I died a couple of weeks later, on February 20th, 1862, due to what may have been typhoid fever. Mother and father grieved for me immensely. Father would shut himself in his room so that he could weep alone. At night, he would have happy dreams of being with me, only to wake up to the sad realization that I was not there. It was even more difficult for mother. She kept to her bed for three weeks, had a nurse looking after her, wept often, and refused to allow any social events in the White House for almost a year. By May, my father was still mourning my death, but decided to get away from Washington to check up on General McClellan. On his trip down to Virginia, he read Shakespeare to his traveling companions. You say that we shall see and know our friends in heaven. If that be true, I shall see my boy again. I wish I could have been there to keep him from being so sad. The summer of 1862 kept my father busy thinking about the war. The failure to capture the Confederate capital of Richmond was very disappointing, and father began to lose confidence in General McClellan. He brought General McClellan and his troops back to Northern Virginia. By the third week of July, Father introduced a draft of the Emancipation Proclamation to his cabinet, but they told him it wasn't the right time to issue it because they were not winning the war. By late August, the two armies face each other at Bull Run, where once again, the Confederates are victorious. General Lee decided a few days later to continue invading the North, and within the course of four months, the whole war had turned upside down. A few weeks after the mid-September Battle of Antietam, my father left Washington City. He took the train to Harper's Ferry. The first thing he saw there was John Brown's fort. When he was done there, he was escorted to Bolivar Heights. The next day, he reviewed more troops on Loudoun Heights. He started up Maryland Heights too, but turned back. It is a very steep mountain. By midday, my father was on his way by carriage to Antietam to see General McClellan. In 1862, father had a lot on his mind. I had died, General McClellan wouldn't follow his orders, many of his cabinet members kept disagreeing with him, and he wanted to rid the country of slavery. He didn't know how he wanted to free the slaves. Did he want to pay the landowners for their slaves? Did he want to buy land in Central America and start a colony for free blacks? He just didn't know. Finally, he decided on writing the Emancipation Proclamation. Looking down on him, I was really proud of him. Finally, a president, my father, had done something that told the whole world that the country was going to do something about the horrible institution of slavery. Wow, your dad did a lot in one year. I didn't know about all those things. He seemed like an amazing person to have done so much. I wish I could have met him. Thank you so much for telling us about him. You're welcome. 
Now go and honor him by telling others about his work. Thank you.